Hey guys, Prince of Macedon here, gonna show you a replay from a Men of War Assault Squad 2 battle that I had. I'll be commanding the Japanese. My opponent's name is Teddy Killers, trademark, commanding the Commonwealth. I feel like I've played this guy before. Anyways, we're gonna fight this on the fairly big Suburb 2 battlefield, so let's go ahead and uh, get it started here. And as usual, I will turn off the Fog of War so you can see uh, both uh, both of our troop movements on the, on the mini-map. And also when they get closer to each other. So I do like this map. It's pretty big. And th there's quite a bit of room to maneuver. So I like it. In my opinion, the bigger the better. The smaller the less better because you can't maneuver as much. So let's turn off the Fog of War. There we go. So I'm going to start off with uh, Special Navy Landing Force Japanese troops here. I believe I was, I was using Marksman. Here's my opponent's troops. He's using a rifleman for his uh, first squad. And let's see where he goes. But I know I get to this flag point a lot sooner than he does. And you can see I peeled off a unit of SMG to my natural. Oh, no, no, sorry. Not my natural. I put him right over here to, to watch his natural. This is my natural over here. And I used a rifleman to take my natural. Here it is. Now in the middle, I'm taking this flag point quite easily. As I said, he, I got there, there was no contest. He didn't even try. Instead, he's going right to his natural. So, it's an interesting choice not to even contest the middle. But again, you know, that, it's not really the end of the world if you don't contest the middle. There's plenty of time. But yeah, since he doesn't take it, I'm just going to put my troops in the building here. And I've got a ma machine gunner right here. Just to keep an eye out on his uh, natural expansion area. Not, not an expansion, his natural flag point, sorry. <laughs> I was thinking StarCraft. But yeah, he's uh, moving his troops out a little bit. He's fanning out in his natural. Ready, but he's creating a... Uh, that's what he's doing. He's creating a big uh, net over this side of the map. The thing is, we're not playing combat. So if he's gonna build a net, he should have built a net like right around this entire side. But anyhow, now we're finally starting to begin the skirmish here. Here's my machine gunner. Yes, sir. Ah. So he's duking it out with two guys right now. One is a rifleman who stands no chance against the machine gunner. The other is another rifleman. And I've got an SMG guy here ready to uh, support my machine gunner to get a little bit closer. And I'm going to put some pressure on his natural now. I'm bringing up a squad of assault SMG. So yeah, as he swings across towards the middle, he will take fire from my machine gunner right here. That's why I put him right here in this street. It's a nice uh, line of sight there for my machine gunner. Do some damage to him. Alright, so now I get closer to his natural. I start tossing grenades over. And there's a guy right over there. It's a just a rifleman probably. And I got my own assault rifleman right here. So these are my Japanese troops up close. These are our assault guys though. I think the special Navy uh, landing force looks a little bit different. It comes another grenade. It's gonna move him out of position. And again, so because I have two uh, flag points, and he doesn't even have his first one yet, my score is going to rise tremendously. I'm beginning to think he didn't know this was assault zones because of the way he was playing. I, he might have thought it was combat zone. That's why he built this big net of troops around here. But when he finally captured this flag point, I think that's when he realized, hey, maybe this is not combat mode. This is assault zone mode. So I was able to get 17 points on the score like immediately. Well, after like three and a half minutes. And my score is going to continue to rise until he captures at least one of my flag points. But now he's going to bring out a vehicle. Now he, he thinks, or you know, now I'm thinking he thinks that it's time to, uh, you know, kick into a uh, assault zone score or assault zone mode. So he brought up this Valentine. That's a medium tank. And I believe at this point I started saving up for a Chinu. 
And I do have troops over here just in case he tries to come in. So I see him coming that way with his tank, so I'm gonna peel off a unit of infantry. Here he is. I was gonna use this guy to toss an anti-tank grenade. But uh, he backed off. And he's still firing. I think he's using direct control. So he backed off. Yeah, you definitely don't want a tank going down the street, at least not without infantry okay. support. Dude, that tank is so blind. I could have used any any of these guys to take out that tank had it gone there unsupported. So that's the situation. I'm at 25 points. He's at zero. He really needs to take a flag point. But it seems like he's just uh, making his net even stronger. So here comes a new squad here. This is a squad of assault. An assault squad. The name of the game, actually. Assault Squad 2. So here I got this guy right here. He sees that I have a guy here. He's going to start shooting at this uh, brick wall. I tossed a smoke grenade right here. Like, I had aspirations of sending your troops in to take out his tank after the smoke got a little thicker. And he's firing into the smoke with direct control. So here I, <laughs> I tried to sneak up there, but yeah, that didn't work. And he even brought his, his infantry to uh, protect his tank. So he's definitely um, mindful of, of protecting his tank. Then there he crashes right to that, that fence. And I tried to rush the tank with an anti-tank grenade, but he was able to shoot my guy down. So now my guys are in a pickle, so I'm going to start peeling off my guys to safety. Huh, I thought I did. Oh yeah, sorry. Here's my tank, my Chinu, which I saved up a long time for. Can't believe I didn't show that. Anyways, he was able to disable the track. And here I am, I'm trying to, I'm trying to take out this Valentine. I thought my Chinook could take it out. I gave him something on there. I'm not sure what it was. But I'm repairing my tank, he's repairing his tank. But again, I thought my Chinook could take it. Now I see him uh, rushing up some infantry. He's still shooting up my, my damaged tank here. I'm trying to trying to save it, but there he damaged my, my engine. That's not good. So I, I brought up some tank crew trying to get him inside. But here comes my infantry. Here they are. I wanted to protect my tank from getting destroyed by the infantry. So we're just having a big shootout with our tanks, which are both damaged at this point. Now he got his uh, tank repaired. Got my infantry up here. His, his tank's going to start moving around. So he's trying to get a move around for a better uh, position on my tank. Get a nice flanking shot there. There he destroyed my tank finally. I was really sad by that. It took me a long time to save up for that Chinu. And I thought it would be good enough to take out this Valentine. I mean, I guess it would be good enough. It's just I, I didn't get a good angle. So, yeah, that's when I finally moved my infantry back. Moved him back over here. So as he uh, repositions his troops, he took some pretty good damage, but they're still alive. So he put his guys in a pickle here too, but I, I still have troops on the street. So I'm at 45 points. He's going to move his tank up. Now I brought out this thing. This is a, uh, a Honey 3. So he's going to back up a little bit now with his Valentine as my Honey tries to take it out. Pony is an assault, or sorry, it's in a special unit. I take it from this side. So I needed something to take on his tank. You know, I, I contemplated saving up for an artillery piece. But I figured my my SP gun, sorry, my light tank destroyer would have been better than a uh, artillery piece. So I did, it looks like I, I took out this tank here. But at the same time, he did damage my track on this tank destroyer. As you guys know, a tank destroyer without a track is kind of useless. 
almost the enemy gets right in front of your tank, which is probably not going to be the case ever. So definitely got to repair that track. Going to get it uh, mobilized. But I think for the meantime, I've I've disabled this uh, Valentine, which I believe it doesn't take part in the fight anymore. So I effectively ended it. So look at this huge score I have, 52 points. He has zero. And I finally got my uh, my whole knee repaired so I can move it again. And I wasn't sure if I took out that tank because, you know, a lot of times those tanks can be repaired. Here, <laughs> look, I, I just killed the crew here. I think he was trying to repair it. So I'm going to take some more shots at it. I'm trying to explode it. I want to make sure it's inoperable. So while I'm taking shots at it, he is spawning out another vehicle. This is a Cromwell. Pretty famous uh, British commander. Alright, here comes a Cromwell. And I've got my Honey firing at it. And guess what? I took out his Cromwell. I think it's like my first shot I took it out. My first or second shot when my Honey took it out. So, I think that was Karma. Because his Valentine was able to take out my Honey so easily. Well, not easily, but at least he took it out. I think it was Karma that I was able to take out his Cromwell so easily with my Honey. So he's going to bring up some of these uh, assault dudes. He's going to come up here. He's going to rush right past... Oh, I thought he was going to rush past it. No, he's going to stay right there under the... The watchful eyes of my sharpshooters. Toss the grenade inside there. Which will probably take out my guy. Yep, it does. But I got guys on this side too that's shooting at his dudes. And I'm gonna have my Honey firing soon. First shot didn't do anything. Second shot should take out quite a bit. Get ready for this. Boom! Yeah. So he lost a lot of infantry trying to get up here. And while that was going on, I was able to move up my infantry into his natural flag point. I want to like end this game. So he has a guy behind me. Look at this. I was, I was very sad by that. I got a sniper back there too, by the way. So my sniper takes him out, I believe. And my guys were actually, lo they live long enough. I mean, actually, they're still living to take this flag point. They got really damaged, but now they're able to heal themselves. Because these guys are not only paratroopers, they're also medics who can heal themselves. So, I want to end this battle. And I believe at this point... I think, maybe, I think after I take this flag point, my opponent just rage quits. You will see... You will see when he rage quits, because I'm pretty sure all these... His safety net's gonna start charging forward once he uh, disconnects from the game. So here I'm using my Honey just to make sure I finish off the job on these vehicles. So I'm just gonna keep firing at it. Making sure he doesn't repair it and trying to destroy these things, but whatever. If I can't destroy it, I'll just keep shooting at it. But yeah, anyways, at, at some point here he, he rage quit. I think... It was definitely when I, when I, either when I was taking this flag point or when I took the flag point, that's when he rage quit. So now it's just a matter of uh, watching the timer go down because the AI is not going to be able to do anything. I mean, it could. That'd be pretty, uh, pretty sad. But for the most part, this is really just uh, mopping up and watching the timer go down. Uh, now, um... I had aspirations of using this super heavy mortar here. It's a 150 millimeter type 97 mortar. So I'm gonna try to get it up here, but look at the timer. I mean the uh, the, f the score. Because I have three flag points, my score goes up really fast. So the battle ends. So that was a battle in which, you know, it was, you know, pretty much everything went my way in that battle. That doesn't happen a lot. Like lately, that hasn't been happening at all, except for this battle, where my opponents let me do what I want. Anyways, good game to my opponent. Even though, uh, even though things, but, uh, yeah, see you guys later. Thanks for watching this.